All right, hi guys. Today I want to show you a little video of something I've uh, discovered that is leaving me perplexed and confused that I can't explain. Uh, so this is part of my work for the Canadian Space Agency in collaboration with the uh, Indian Space Research Organization. If you're not aware, I uh, have helped develop uh, the detector and the de detector electronics for a space telescope that's in space right now and it detects ultraviolet wavelengths. Uh, it's an ultraviolet space telescope. Uh, it has to go uh, in space above the atmosphere, of course, because the atmosphere blocks a lot of ultraviolet. You can't do ultraviolet astronomy from the ground. You have to go up in space to do it, to get those really deep, those far ultraviolet wavelengths. So in any case, uh, that telescope was launched in 2015. Before that, I'd been, uh, you know, helping with the ground development, uh, ground testing, all that sort of good stuff, ground engineering. Um, ground support it's called, so it launched in 2015. Now I'm doing data reduction, data analysis for this telescope. And so I have uh, reduced, you know, probably 100, hundreds or thousands even by now, thousands of uh, observation sets for this, uh, for this telescope at this point. So I'm very, very familiar with, with what to look at. This image we're looking at here is what's called a visible channel tracking image. This telescope has to, has to track itself and it does that in the visible channel. Just call it, think of it as a guide star pointing. So it uses a, a visible channel, a visible wavelength, as opposed to ultraviolet, a, a visible wavelength channel for guide star tracking. So that's what this image is that you're seeing right here. These are visible wavelength stars. And, uh, and then there's the far UV telescope, the ultraviolet wavelength telescope that we actually do the science with. So this visible channel is used for tracking. So in any case, I've, you know, reduced thousands of sets of observations from this telescope. And I know what, uh, you know, I'm very familiar with what you see. And so, for example, let's scan through these images. And so what do you people watching, what do you fellows think that this, these uh, objects are streaking through the image? I'm going to pause it and think about it. If you just want to let me tell you, go ahead. Let's continue. Um, so I've seen lots of these. There's many, many examples of this phenomenon. I've seen it hundreds of times. And the first time I saw it, it never bothered me. And it's never bothered me. And it's totally what I would uh, expect to see in cases where another satellite passes in front of you of uh, of our telescope because our telescope is at 500 kilometers altitude which is not too uh high actually there's lots of satellites that are slightly higher than that and uh so when you see an object going through the field of view now this field of view is half a degree by the way so this is a half a degree field of view half a degree across so it's not that that large a field of view what is that about what is the moon is the moon half a degree boy as an astronomer i should know that it's probably maybe it maybe the moon is it Anyway, this is a half a degree. Someone can look up what the, what the moon actually is, and then you can compare. Uh, in any case, so this half degree field of view. So these are, these to me have never bothered me because these are simply other satellites passing in front of you of the telescope. You can see that they go in a very straight line with a bit of a streak because they're moving very fast. Uh, the image is on this visible channel tracker are one second integrations, so it exposes for one second and then resets and exposes again for one second. So in one second, a very quickly moving satellite, because obviously all the motions up there of satellites are very, very fast, going, you know, several kilometers a, a second, I think. Um, so you, you would expect to see a streak like this, and they're going in a very, very straight line, right? So that, that's totally normal, never bothered me. So now look at this, what I just saw in the, one of the most recent data sets that I reduced. Something very, very interesting. I think this is the correct one. Look at this object. Look at how it curves. And look at this one. So there's three examples. Look at this one curving. And look at this one. Not only curves, it's curving with an acceleration. So these first three examples, they're moving in a, in a curve that's basically a constant curve. It looks more or less constant, a constant circle. This one is undergoing some sort of acceleration, some sort of powered acceleration, because the curve that it's moving upon isn't just constant like you would expect from a circle. It's more like a, a hook, which is what you get from, 
from uh, which is what you would get from powered acceleration from accelerated movement movement under acceleration under power so I have no idea what in space in low earth orbit could cause motion like this I have no idea those other ones that we saw that's fine straight line motion those are obviously satellites from those other ones these ones this is the first time I have ever witnessed anything like this in reducing thousands, thousands of observations. It's the first time I've ever seen motion like this, and I have been just really perplexed as to what could cause motion like this. That's not motion you would expect of any satellite in space. I really just don't get it. Maybe it's a UFO. I mean, obviously, I'm just being funny, but maybe. I really can't explain what this is. I don't know. Maybe I'll go around asking some people. You can say what these are. I'm just really confused. I just sit here and I watch this over and over again, and I'm trying to think. I'm racking my brain cells together, trying to figure out what could cause motion like this from another object in space. I really can't explain it. That's not what an asteroid would do. It's not what another satellite would do. Even if it was like a rocket in space, I mean, there wouldn't be rockets in space because we're at 500 kilometers altitude. There isn't this many rockets out in space where we would be looking. And then you would probably see a plume or some other shape. I mean, it, there's, there's no rockets out in space in any case that we know of. Not this many like an Elon Musk rocket or something like that. I mean, given that they're moving on curves, it looks like, I mean, that has to be powered movement. It has to be propulsed movement because nothing, I just can't think of anything that should give movement on a, on a curve like this. That, that's only, that can only come as a product of acceleration. It's a product of acceleration that means it's a product of powered flight but what would be doing that because satellites don't move like that asteroids don't move like that I really can't explain it So here, I'm changing the scan time to one second because that's what was actually seen. It's one second integration time. I just put this down to zero, zero seconds between frames just so that I can see them quickly. Yeah, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one just because it really, really exhibits accelerated motion. It's not merely motion on a constant curve, which itself smacks of accelerated motion or motion under acceleration under power but this one the curve is changing yeah so that really this one really really smacks of movement under power anyway if anybody can think of what they are let me know I'll have to pass this around to a few people and get some ideas because I really can't think of what it could be. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you all are having a good day. Bye-bye.